Aloha everybody, welcome back to my channel, Kai Waza with you, and time to continue uh, our Hawaiian record videos, going through my Hawaiian record collection, part of which you see behind me, I have about 2,500 records, and we're going through them one at a time. We're on the letter A right now, we randomly select letters to go through, we're on the letter A, and we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video, we're up to a, uh, an important name, or very well-known name in Hawaiian music, Almeida. Uh, there's a father and a son, Johnny Almeida and the son Pua Almeida. First, Johnny Almeida. Now, I only really have one LP album um, featuring Johnny Almeida. Uh, he did record a lot of music. Uh, however, I think the majority of it really is, is as singles, 45s, and you'll find uh, a lot of his music on compilation albums uh, from like 49th State Hawaii and Waikiki Records and some other labels where um, his music is featured. But as far as just an entire album, I really only have one, even though he was a very profound uh, musician, uh, singer, songwriter, wrote lots and lots of songs. Uh, he was actually blind uh, and known either as John K. Almeida, John Kamealoha Almeida, or Johnny Almeida. He recorded under all names. It's the only album I have from him. I have shown this already when we talked about 49th State Records, but I wanted to include it here because it is really the only album I have by him. Uh, it is an instrumental album, Strum Your Ukulele, on 49th State Records, and these are all actually songs of uh, Johnny Almeida's composition. this record that's a fairly rare recording um, to find these days. Uh, the next up now is uh, an album together featuring uh, the father Johnny Almeida or John Almeida and the son Pua Almeida. Uh, this the album is called My Son Pua Johnny and Pua. It is on Waikiki Records and it features uh, song, uh, it's about half songs from uh, Johnny Almeida and half songs from Pua Almeida. And then on some of the songs, they are together, singing together, performing together. And it's a, a letter uh, from Johnny Almeida sort of introducing Pua, although he was already known. Pretty popular album. Um, even when I was working in Hawaiian radio in the 80s, we were still playing a lot of music from here, particularly this song, Hano Hano Hawaii, and Nancy Swing Around Your Blouse. That was a popular one. Anyway, my son, Pua. Now, Pua uh, Almeida performed for many years with his uh, group at the Moana Hotel uh, in Waikiki, but he had quite a long career. And I have several albums from him, but you should know also Pua Almeida was, uh, you can hear him on many, many other albums because he was a part of other groups. He was uh, recorded quite a bit with the Hawaii Calls Orchestra and Chorus, Webley Edwards, you can hear him a lot there, and he recorded with many other artists. Uh, I keep reading everything I read about him. He's primarily known originally as a steel guitar player, uh, but I really only have one record of him playing steel guitar, and the rest is all singing. And I love his singing voice, um, but you should know that um, in his day, he died rather young, actually. He died in 1970, 
2004, I think it was, in his early 50s of, uh, from a heart, heart failure. Um, but he had a very uh, distinctive singing voice. And in his day, some people were not completely, you know, completely fond of it. And today, some people are not completely fond of it. I do from time to time hear people saying they don't really like some people say they don't like Pua Almeida. And the other camp, which I personally am, is that uh, people loved his voice. It was, it's hard to describe. He has kind of a unique quality, and you'll hear it in the, the samples that we're playing, a certain vibrato and a certain thinness to it that, I don't know, I just find it very attractive, his voice. Uh, this album on Waikiki, Dancing Under the Stars, Pua Almeida and his Banyan Court Music. This is the Waikiki, uh, the Banyan Court at the Moana Surfrider, which is still there, more or less like this. <laughs> Here's another album also on Waikiki Records called Surf Rider. This is Pua Almeida and his Polynesians. <laughs> And this is on uh, Waikiki Records, as I said, red vinyl. Here's a great title. Love this title. Poolside Music Hawaiiana. This is Pua Almeida and his, I think it's and his Polynesians. Yeah. Well, I'll made it and his Polynesians. Another popular album. Um, actually, you know, it, uh, Hawaiian radio, he was quite popular. And like I said, even in the 80s when I was working, uh, all these albums from him, we were playing songs every day from these albums, still. Make you feel how old we You might have noticed some of these albums too, they list whether something is like a foxtrot or a waltz or whatever, dancing was quite the thing, and uh, the Ban Moana Banyan was like a where people would dance also. Now this is an interesting album from him. Uh, I don't know if it's earlier or later or same time period, no date, but it's called South Sea Island Magic on MGM Records. Uh, this also, Pua Almeida and his Polynesians, has the most fabulous record cover like ever. One of the great covers, I think. Beautiful artwork, and I don't know who did it. When my dream of love Let's take a closer look. There will be okoleha for two. Alitu velaka how might do. Just an old Hawaiian hospitality. Um, a shortened version of this was also released on 10 inch, which I have, but this is the full effect. Also, uh, the uh, in this case, not in the other cases where it's Pua Almeida and his Polynesians, but in this case, um, I think this album was recorded in California, unlike the others which were recorded in Hawaii, because Pua Almeida and his Polynesians, his Polynesians on this record, who are listed uh, as uh, Sol, Sol Kamehele, Sam Kaapuni, Sam Koki, Harry Batty, though these Polynesians are actually the same as these Polynesians on Crown Records, if you know anything about the budget Hawaiian labels. Uh, the Polynesians were a popular California-based Hawaiian group that did lots of recordings on Crown Records. And that's them, and that's the same people that are on this, the same Polynesians on this particular record. 
Okay, moving right along. Pua Almeida singing with Billy Hugh Lynn and the Moana Surf Riders. And this one, it's, on a, it's a one-off on an interesting label that I don't have any other records from called Tiki Records. It's a great label. And this is a nice album. Billy Hugh Lynn was a steel guitarist who, uh, I don't remember, uh, that's him there, but uh, he only had one hand. Like, I don't remember, I'm trying to think, I think maybe it was a war injury, I'm not sure, but he just had one hand, and he had like a, a hook or something constructed that he could use the slide on, and he was quite an accomplished steel guitarist. In Two, I got two more. I got to get through them quickly. <laughs> the Hawaiian Steel Guitars of Pua Almeida. Now, this one is an instrumental steel guitar album. The only one I have fully from Pua Almeida. This is in the Sweet Sweet Steel Guitar Series number eight that came out of Maple Records in Canada. Although the original recording of this is a Japanese record called Hawaiian Favorites, and somehow they procured the rights to it and did the North American release. All instrumental. And then finally, we have one that's from Japan. I don't know anything about it, except that it's obviously part of some sort of set of like, I don't know, a million records, and I wish you could feel how heavy this is. It's very, very heavy. Uh, <laughs> It's Rainbow, Music Rainbow number seven. One side of the album is Hawaiian music, which is all by Pua Almeida. And then the other side of the record is Seaside Concert, which is the, like nautical songs from, uh, let's see, the one side is Pua Almeida and his Aloha Surfers. The other side is H Ishimaru and K Strings, K A Y. But, uh, yeah, Japanese record, and it has it's a has lots of amazing pictures. I don't know anything about this set, but very cool pictures in the book. I fell in love with you. It's all in Japanese. And the, the rest of it is nautical pictures for the seaside concert side. you'll be mine forevermore. On a little band. All right, we're going to stop there. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you have any of these records or thoughts about them, let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. Have a good week. We'll see you on the next video.